Stoneboy, boss man. Assuming that I sacked you from the studio for arriving late, yeah. what would be your initial reaction? Honestly speaking, I know this question is based off of an in, uh, of, of of an incident that once happened. Yes. So, um, if we are going to put it on the same scale, assuming that hadn't happened, I think prior to that happening, uh, it has been a norm for uh, Greenwich Meridian time, Ghana man time, time. Okay. that Africans or Ghanaians, as I can say, we are known to be late, you know, 20 minutes late, 15, 30 minutes is the, is the commonest. We think that is the norm. Uh, but prior to that happening, I think that uh, with what I heard as a third party as well, taking myself away from not even if not being an artist, um, you can sense that they have had issues before. Mm -hmm. So, like the guy was saying, this is not the first time, this is not the second time, you know. So, he has a he had a reason to do so that I can't justify okay. because only him knows. And per the arrival of my own my own brother, Kitty, the artist, I think that it was half. It was 30 minutes late like the thing said right and they had a few more minutes to be able to run so it was solely to the discretion of the presenter to either manage the few 30 because honestly we have all been late before at several places especially even interviews sometimes even boarding your flights sometimes one time they almost took off my baggage you know so lateness is part of us but i think that it's solely to the discretion of who is at the at the at the, at helm, the, of affairs. At the helm of affairs mm -hmm. to determine what not so it's rather an unfortunate situation where it had to be that level i know people have sub, um, submitted their suggestions and their views but for me i think that if not for the reason he has stated and thinks he justifies himself to do so there could have been a nicer way to deal with it not because to he, on even air. he himself can admit that lateness is with everybody yeah, yeah, because um, uh, I, I was encourage one another to also always show up on, on time. time because you can't tell. Yeah, yeah, because I was thinking that assuming maybe Teddy Riley was in a live Skype chat with him and he had to be in the studio, he would have to choose between the two, you know, and he's going to be hot. I'm just assuming, mm. assuming he was talking to somebody very important and uh, it coincided with your time, probably. At that time, there was some business deal okay, yeah, going in, down. Um, the artist was talking to somebody yes. very, or had a, a legitimate reason. reason. Yes. yes, but I think he was not allowed to speak. Speak so that it, the same way publicly as the presenter had a reason to to do what he did, that he also couldn't have the opportunity to express himself why he could justify his lateness. So that then we know that both parties have given their point, and it will be left to the masses to judge. But however, I think next time we will all know what to do to avoid embarrassment and also the presenter also would also have to take it easy because maybe it has happened twice or three times and it is probably even more than that mm -hmm. and we were not there. So but it was the end that we all saw all right. how he dealt with the vibe. Nominate challenge, Stoneboy. I woke up to some good news. Thousand dollars around this time is no small cash. Uh, that's about almost six thousand cities yes not a little bit above it what is all this about could you let people into it because i know so many people out there mm. diehard fans of yours people who really need money people who are creative would like to yeah. jump on this opportunity could you just walk us through the, the the procedure to be part of this nominate challenge thank you um this these are trying times and um, for anybody to put up such an amount on top of uh, um a challenge only tells you that we just want to drive the momentum and encourage people and even use that opportunity to also lend a hand or two not that we don't have not that we have it too much but we all just try to do the best we can you know and um, nominate challenge when I announced it um, with the trailer up it's actually intended to have people get very creative yeah with the song you know whether by dancing whether by acting it out and the one with the most views and the one with the most most creative piece would be a judge the winner and therefore a whooping thousand usd yeah would be um and this is a thing that we're doing with trailer the app trailer you know 
and so I, I, are they supposed to do some acting in there or mm, it's just I, I just about, want exactly what yeah, all exactly they what to do dancing with the song or yes, that, what do they how, do however creative you can get with jamming to the song okay you know that sometimes some some girls dance to the song and they they twerk yes. and some of them almost go nude some yeah. of them show you curves yeah. some of them some people will also act it out in a very nice way we have some we have um some other kids that will mimic that same song like the the, the, the video was like okay just any way creative and i think this has been in, in this uh, challenge has been on for at least more than a week at least i i, I, should, I should believe and how is the and, response and like? the response has been crazy but i think just some few days ago even i found out that one pretty lady who's a dancer asante waneza created a beautiful dance step to the song wow you know and then when i chanced upon it i'm like fine this could also go so i tried the dance as well and, and posted it you know and so officially I call that the nominate dance and she has agreed to that so I know that I can say that officially she is happy to have, have me endorse that that would be the nominate dance if corona goes away and we are performing anywhere in the world we just put, put that, that move together and I've seen other people do it when I put it up my wife also went to put it in my kids yeah, I, saw, I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw that that's video. so beautiful so like it's taking a different turn now and yesterday as well, some pretty lady also decided to go and open up the whole opening <laughs> to, make, to make the whole thing. So if you ask me about the fire catching bits of it, it has, really caught, right. on. It right. has really caught on just because of the fact that uh, here now people are realizing what it is when I got involved with the dance part of it. And then my family also like it's nice to see kids and, and wifeys and so it's open to everybody. And then the pretty lady too came and show it or and that pandemonium Aye. you know yeah Charlie. <laughs> something they pin me and me deserve or you who are like kai 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 say All the ladies keeping the guys waiting. Charlie, you push for stop stretch the guys, lad. Don't stretch the guys. Don't keep them waiting. <laughs> yeah. Not to keep you waiting. Get down. Stop boy. We will tell them not to keep you waiting. No, Don't they boy. respect. Stop boy. Let me ask you some question. <laughs> you see, I watched this nominate video, yeah. and Charlie, you blew my mind. True. And uh, for me, how did you? tackle the attractiveness of Kerry Helson. Uh, uh-huh. That's Cause very beautiful video. the way you put the question. Kerry is a very, very, very beautiful woman. Yeah. You know, from from when from from time. Yes. We've all seen that her and the amazing thing about me is that like she wrote a lot of hit songs. Hit songs from Mary J. Blige with Mayo with with, with who? With Arke- yo yeah. I mean, make Kanye West and stuff. Yeah. So sometimes when you see the greatness that some people have been able to achieve and how humble they have been ever since you got chance to open each other and stuff, you, you just admire it. So if anybody was seeing any form of look in my eyes, yes, I was admiring the I could tell. Lady. I could tell. So, you see, because I get that also. Okay. I go into spaces and ladies over there, they be like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. And that only humbles me the more I'm like, oh then i want to just make them feel cool because it's not like you know for me i see it as yes we thank god for the height and the levels but it's just through a fellow human being like mine so i think that same reaction is what it is because that's the whole carry hill saying no cap no bullshitting like yo yeah it's like she's real we we were filming you can see we're filming a video and a lot of things behind the scenes you guys won't see but you know that the chemistry the vibe somebody would you know, it will be all right. And go on for our cry. Yes, I just said, me who, but only say man naturally. No, girls are like girls who are super, who are like famous. With my own little experience, not my, not all of them, to chance upon them probably for the first time or the second and third, you definitely they're gonna ooze out a certain feeling of yo, you know, a, a certain stushy feeling that will just be like Charlie, mm-hmm. me share me who me who me who. I never got one single one from this this, this woman from scratch. 
So it's a thing to admire because you know she's really done that. I, I think she's, she's, she also she's did some background check on your personality as well. Absolutely. So she knew she was dealing with Absolutely. somebody of her yeah. own pedigree. And I guess that's spoke, why she spoke all of that in there. I remember when we did the premiere at the, at Prime, she did a, like a lengthy six minute video, and she was like, "No, nah, sir, he, she just relates to the vibe, the energy that I exhume. Like that's real. I he she even said it like I live my I live my my career like." You don't get it. It's not different. Yeah. Stone boy that you see it's now. It's synonymous with, with the music. With the same vibe. Like we put. So that's like, you know. So I was. Uh, you know. Yeah, you were able to control <laughs> the temptation. God no, on your side. I, I like the way. It's not tempta. You know, to a, to an extent that will tempt people that yes. they have an opportunity Thank to you. make yawa. Uh huh. You understand? Then when the yawa hits is when you realize actually because America, yo, I love you, I love you. It's common. Uh huh. But if you go and tell a Ghanaian boy who does is not experienced, like I love you, can mm. say love you? Why? <laughs> yeah, no, they can't marry with that. <laughs> they go bring house people, they go bring snap and apart appetite. from he go jump on the gap because the guy say love, love you, you, so you know say that they can't do love. Wow. Now, um, <laughs> Kerry, Kerry, um, I don't know. I was just going through her profile and I noticed that Tele, I mean, she she was not easy back in the day. She was one of the few ladies who could. Crazy. Like she actually, much Beyonce, and she actually took a, the, the 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 R&B type of thing to a next level, like with the kind of beats that um, Timberland produced, yes, and how she yo yeah she, she she she's been there, she's done that, and she's still doing it. All right, you see, in different perspective, you know, like you say, when you diversify yourself, yeah, sometimes you find yourself more active on one side more than some other. But she's gonna she's coming back. On the music scene as well, proper, proper, and she's using you as a conduit to adore herself. If you ask me, that's another way to put it because she's extending herself to a larger market. Same she's being strategic, as well. same as me as well. Wow, but I can also assure you that even if, um, I can assure you that it, it, it is also it, it's gonna help me a lot, and yeah. it has already helped me a lot. It's put me on certain levels as well. One million streams, don't worry. I saw that and I said, wow. Yeah, under like a couple, two weeks or whatever. Yeah. It can always get better regardless. But, you know, from the fact that I do things and um, my things are much are very organic, this is it. The growth is actually like, yeah, amazing. And it's just going to get better. All right. You know? Now, it's 103.9 FM. We are live with Stoneboy on the Freestyle Friday First Edition. You say waiting. My name is The Dawn and I'm here in the studios with Mercury Quay, Dorian Avio, Mike Gizzo, Prince Boy, Zimbi. The whole crew, Maxwell Amofia, is right here. And together, um, we are in a beautiful convo with Stoneboy. Stoneboy. Yes, please. People call you Dagbe Mafia. The last time people heard of you was on radio and you were outside. The next time, Stoneboy was in town before the lockdown. People say, wow, what happened? Stoneboy, could you just let us yeah. into the secret how did you mysteriously appear in ghana i be mafia yeah uh my grandfather left me some two things <laughs> that any time when i travel i manage to hold those ones tight anyhow i like play boy, i don't joke so that one told me that my guy change your ticket <laughs> you don't mean it you know that one told me that Charlie, change your ticket too don't do, do yourself say you won't do like say you won't accomplish the matter finish you know and then it surprised everybody from nowhere i got up one day changed my ticket that day going to the flight that day and i was in ghana so that was i think saturday yeah um, was it a, because i spoke to you on thursday or friday yeah yeah so and the probably, lockdown was on sunday like midnight see the, i think i got into town like three days before the lockdown proper okay yeah. three yeah. days before yeah, yeah, yeah. did you isolate yourself oh immediately instantly where because i spoke to you where, where? so when i came where you see, I'm a, sometimes you have to keep Stone something. Where, where? where? I went to one of my houses outside Accra. Oh, okay. Yeah. So did some attack by me and some air conditioning. <laughs> <there. laughs> so did your family know? Did your wife know oh, that? Oh, yes, please. You went Yes, down? please. Every move of mine, you know, every step, um, they are very informed about it. Did she yeah. want to break protocol by ignoring all caution and coming to see you? And my you wife, stopped yeah, her? My wife is like, for better, for worse, I tell you honestly, man. You know that's that's a true 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 friend a true person i'll use this platform to big up every woman who's behind their months you know sometimes we take things slightly until we don't have such blessings so i want to use the opportunity to say i love you very much you know for 
being here and every woman who is behind their mans too she wouldn't mind to catch corona for me man even if i had it and you know see i've been healthy i'm healthy we continue to be healthy and i'm keeping the protocols you know and she's cool so she didn't move in with me immediately it was after the second week when i moved back because when everything was clear you understand so me when you follow my social media pages to want to trace me it's mafia. You can't trust nah, me. You can't, you can't, can't do that. You can't. Mr. Lekko Youth. Mr. Lekko Youth. You can't youth. find you. <laughs> you know? All right. Stone Boy. <laughs> Interesting. Now, um, I, I, I like the fact that you and Shara Wale have actually patched up. But uh, there are many people who believe it was just for the cameras. And uh, apparently, um, Sarkodie was asked on Dentist's show some time back whether he would, uh, would uh, patch up with Shatawali. And he said, if it will be real, not just for the cameras. My Gizu, I don't know whether we have that so that Stoneboy yeah, can, can can, can listen to it. To, yes. The freestyle show, the everything comes with evidence. Thank you. So we know where, where we Thank you. Go. Because I did suspect that you fall within the mm -hmm. fake friends fake category. Friend. Okay, for good. the camera category. I, I put it to you. Let's yes, listen. let's listen to uh, Sack. And watch him live on Facebook as well. Yeah. Do you think he a lot of beefs um a lot no but there are some beefs are you are you in shutter okay i see like friends yeah um at this point i can label what we have as friends um there's definitely a misunderstanding okay. you know that we need to go past but we haven't you we haven't, haven't yet. Yeah. so you're not like how he's you know made up with uh stone boy and then now like Best friends, it's not like that at the moment. No, with me, it has to be real. I'm not. I'm not really into um, the showbiz thing. You know, let's let's hack for the camera and all that. I don't do that. It has to be real. You know, because um, I really don't have people that are connecting the industry that much. So if I open up a little bit, that means I really want to mm. be close. You know, and and it has to be genuine. So if it's not and it has to be on the showbiz, then I'm not really. Then we can keep it like that. Mm. You know. So I'm not really doing anything for the camera. It has to be real. Stumbo, is your relationship with <laughs> Wally real? Watch it. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, I like Sarkodie's perspective, you know, and that is solely his, 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 his. That's definitely allow al allowable. We should allow him, and that's what he he knows and practices when it comes to frenzy, frenzy. I don't see anyhow that relates into. But we're in showbiz, so sometimes we throw some shades on because that was between him and Shatter. Yes. So, but that cannot define somebody else's relationship so listen to mine all right um i like the confidence the, yeah the the beef between shatter and i was never planned it's not a thing that we do we, we, we're trying to do can i have the headset on sorry yes please it's not a thing we're trying to do for the cameras or we're doing for the masses you know so that somebody will sit at home and feel like we're playing with their hearts you know because I, I know the detriment of that that play we are dealing with humans with emotions who follow us with passion, with their hard-earned money, with their mites, and they see us as role models. I will never mislead anybody in any form to create some form of hype, you know, over that type of stuff. So when they saw me and Shatter come out, you know, uh, um, to make peace, it was not for the camera to see and feel like it was for the people. It was for the fights that was happening in the ghettos. It was for the, the bloodshed. People in people fighting actually. You know what I mean? And throwing yo like you had feedback. Ghetto, you had you feedback. Know one, yes. Yeah. And that was affecting a lot of people. Some shatter fans couldn't go through some ends. Some beam fans couldn't go through some ends. So which way would have been the best way as two people who lead the biggest fraction or we, we, we lead the youth if it's the two biggest artists who lead the youth arguably is Shatawale and myself because they have invested into us such power such following the best we can do is not to lead them astray but to also lay down our egos regardless of whatever it to be and make peace for their sake wow. so that they can continue to enjoy our music and our song and support either of us in peace and also by so doing, we have thought to them that, listen, in the end, there is one unifier, which is the law. There's one unifier which must be obeyed, which is peace. You know, there are elderly ones in the country who are also watching, irrespective. So, I will not allow anybody 
to make any comment in any light to try to define what we did as in it's just for the camera mm -hmm. he didn't actually yeah, mention that's why i'm saying it so i'm saying I, I, it now. i put you in that yes line. so yes. i'm saying that even if i heard it from somebody else, else and i have the opportunity to explain myself i will not allow anybody to throw what we did such an 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 Hard, a noble, such a noble move to become ridicule like Omo e e Yalu. We are doing it for the people. And the second part of it is that that does not immediately interpret into Shatawale and I swimming together. Okay, yes. Now, see, so that does not <laughs> automatically interpret, you understand, uh -huh. into the fact that. Shata and I are sitting down together and enjoying some some lay and some soup and sobolo at his house and all of a sudden we are best of friends we are flying together we are meet no okay friendship grows all right saying friendship starts from somewhere and it continues to go on to a certain level nonetheless we all know the situation I to be honest have been a, a friend of Shata from time before the beef i say from 2004 5 before wow. the beef uh-huh when i go up in town to check up samini those times once i'm, I'm in the hood this is 2004 when i was in ss ss1 or ss2 there about okay you know what i mean until when um um um, um, um ha whatever happened that was it so if people want um we people have to realize that we have to take time to also, friendship grows like oh, that's what I can say. So you, I mean, uh, so you so are being Shata real here. Yeah. Are not doing it for the camera, and as no, you are no, not no, no. like if the best of friends overnight. That's why I go on. But we saw a, a video of you and him, and I don't know, riding some bike. No, I don't know. That one is my Okada. It's your Okada. Oh well, I I, I, I believe <laughs> that there will be there are people out there who would want to check that out. Stoneboy calls it an Okada, but for me, it's, 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 it's a bike I <laughs> that, haven't that seen Okada before. Can buy some things. Yes, please <laughs> take a look and um, let's listen via radio so as well. You can get onto our Facebook page and see for yourself relationship between Shatawale and Stoneboy and see whether it was for the cameras. <laughs> All right, so um, Stoneboy, where was that? That could, was a good um, location. Thank you very much. Um, Ignis, CEO of Foresight TV, called me, um, I think, on Wednesday and told me about a meeting that he is having, you know, and that he had already met with Shata and Eden before. And so he gave me the details of it. And I'm like, thank you. Because Iggy is a big man in the industry. Yeah. I, I mean, so I, Friday he set the time, bang, I was there. So I went there with my few team people. And then we had a beautiful meeting upon how to continue to strengthen this industry. Wow. And the things that are happening. And for all, you know, we all share equal goals because we are all artists. I mean, we might... We might have different plans, but our aim is to be able to to better our lives from the the trade that we are we are applying. You know, mm -hmm. like who and as, who, as who were there? So uh, there was Eden, myself, and then uh, and Shatawali at for, at that moment. But other people were put on the phone, like Samini and Sarkodie. You know, right. Samini, I think he wasn't able to be reached, but Sarkodie was reached, and we all came to sit to hear what Ignis has to say though he had briefed us already and then that was when we had a discussion and lengthy discussion about how to better things in the industry fix things and what because in this generation take it or leave it we play a role that is very vital for us all to sit so this happened to be like this is what individually we've all been because we are musicians we know what's going on in the system already so that was on the basis that he called the meeting and that was it all right yeah so that was when when i was leaving we were vibing that actually we are all hungry or we'll come when he come. actually shot actually brought up the hungry vibe like Charlie, would you hungry? so when i was leaving i'm like yeah hungry nation the hungry nation he said yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he responded back uh, and i think some people are also turning it out to be that 
Sak, um, myself and himself are calling a Sak Nation. A hungry Nation. You know, these things, yes. these things go yeah. on naturally. And yeah. I do not wish to explain, but until I have the right platform, because I know we're having vibes. Yeah. So somebody can tap in here and say, oh, this is what it really meant. But I wouldn't go on Twitter to try to reply every single soul who sees it from the perspective they see. That it. you were trying to shade someone no, no, else. No, no. No, no, no. Yeah. No you were just having your fun. You don't shade nobody. You don't shade nobody. Yeah, I'd rather call and we'll vibe if I have any issues. All right. So when you heard the Shatawale Samini song, Celebration, how did you feel? Um, That's Big Man Samini's song, you feel me? And no, how did you feel in the sense that, um, you know, um, probably people were expecting you rather mm. with Shata to bring a song out? not Samini. So do you mean to say people are not expecting Samini to do a song with Shatter any day? No, they were expecting you first because... Yes, there's you, that expectation yeah. but do you mean that then means that there's no expectation at all for Shatter and, uh, and Samini? It was a long shot. It was a long shot for Shatter and Samini. It was a long shot. Uh, <laughs> there's very little I can say about that, you know, because they may have had their own plans to but give did, the fans did, something beautiful to but also did you see it coming did, did they tell you i didn't see oh come on they don't have to tell me i do not in any power at all <laughs> demand or need to know what two big men are up to as musicians so as well. what think, are you amazing. waiting for Sh shutter fans and stoneboy fans are waiting one yeah. guard fans are waiting for yes I. A, a supreme collaboration yeah it has uh, to be supreme so yes, we're and, taking uh, time we you are know, taking time greatness takes time so my have you sat down with shatter to even discuss it before oh yes not sit down but once and once you know i mean like once in a while be like it's a thing that if even the fans know we also know that it will be a nice move but we are the front of like front for we are bearing the force so the so we have to make sure as and when we give them what is that your is just like your baby crying mommy 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 you have to make sure whatever you give that to your baby, you know, mm -hmm. is the best. It's not at the time that they want it. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's when you feel that it's they when need you feel it. That they need it and when it's best for them. Wow. Stoneboy in the studios, it's 103.9 FM, having a very, very, very interesting uh, conversation. And um, um, Stoneboy, Stone what is your greatest regret for the year 2019? I know 2019 wasn't an easy year for you. Boss, I shut up out. <laughs> they beam them. You they beam them, man. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> you must beam them. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know. I mean, opening your clothing line is, is a great success. Yeah, and you know? yeah, it's but not easy, uh, eh? yeah, we'll come to the sell clothes or no, hey, get it's to necessary. <laughs> I saw in fact I've gone to your shop. <laughs> Thank I've gone you. to your shop. Thank you. Yeah, it's in the Lena Pharmacy building, yeah, if I'm yeah, right. Yeah, 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 I've actually gone there. And uh, I would entreat all to go there and Thank see. Thank you very much. I'll grab a thing or two, support the hustle. Eh? Yeah. It's not easy. But let's come back you. to the question. Your regrets for 2019. Take pass at the shadow, at the shadow, no, then they run and all that. No, <laughs> 2019. Yes, yes. 2019 has been a lot of lessons and a lot of grooming for, yes. my, for my journey, you know. So I, I, that is what I definitely remember. But I don't regret anything. If I did make any move that taught me certain lessons, that's I'm happy. If I go wow. back to those moves, wow. then I'll regret wow. having made the move. Wow. Stop worry. Go over that again. That is extremely <laughs> deep. I'm like, if I did make any mistake, right, that taught me any lesson, that is good to strengthen me for my journey moving forward. But the only time regret sets in is when you repeat the same mistake twice. Okay. So the first time, of course, that's why they say the first fool is not a fool. Yeah. And only fools repeat one mistake twice. Yeah, exactly. So clearly, at that time, there was a need for whatever did happen. Exactly. So we can say clearly that every cloud has a silver lining. Thank you very much. Or every much. misfortune and definitely is a learned. blessing so in disguise. In 2019, I would say I've learned a lot instead of even saying regret. Wow. Yes, I've learned wow. a lot. So and I think moving forward, I'll be the best person you know yeah so so so, so the vgma bro was a learning process thousand and one it was no regret time thousand and one it's on record really because yes my intention especially on that night was not to yes do to what achieve what happened it wasn't pre it was not premeditated Thank and you. premeditation is then the vibe you know it's not premeditated to chaos anybody or spokers if it was right when we step into the auditorium then there must be chaos yes 
but you didn't go with that intention. I'm still staying Either of you did not go. Yes. I can clearly no, no, tell exactly. you that yeah, nine of exactly. you went with that intention. Else, if probably he also did, then he would have immediately started chaos yeah. when he got there. So that was not the intention. It was an act of God. Jano. 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 Did any of your international links yeah. have any problem with the story when he broke out? Like, oh, Charlie Stone. Mm. How, how, what kind of reactions did you get? Thank you for specifying it to international links. Them, did they face problem pass. <laughs> them, they pass, <laughs> pass through. So they actually, most of the encouragement and the, and some of the most sensible things I've I heard around that, sorry to categorize as sensible. Of course, you That's have a right to. Encouragement yeah. and some of the most sensible or uh, constructive criticisms I got was from my international links. And how did they put it? Um, My Jamaicans saw that yeah man are the bad man that yeah my americans saw that yeah because they everybody saw the story not to repeat repeat, repeat yeah no no i know that, that's not a so everybody saw the story actually. and everybody have a version of how they saw it but definitely none of us did intend to go and cause such and such and we were all invited on a on a platform remember yeah i remember we were all invited some to, people self say you call it appearance fee who appearance now, like, they go perform where I collect my money, pe, pe, pe. but because the performance <laughs> no happy, they collect their money back. Uh -huh. Where me I lose, because my props and everything where I do and all of that and things now, like their money there, like they for free checks up. Say okay, at least also a book. We shoot no cry about thousand dollar. We shoot no cry. She go. It's a customized shoe. Me every VGM me when you check my shoe, my name is in there. Yeah. And your level me the bar show no more. We say they be shit. Yeah. But I hear yes, sir. I think I say I can come to me then. I can say, oh, father, what do you read? Say, we vote in crowd, we vote here. Go, go buy vote like 50k. I'm just being real. What? I mean, I just go buy vote like credit card credits to share. You know, the How voting much? party, like 50k. I was not even kidding. 50,000 50, Ghana cities. So that it was hands down. If you ask they themselves, they know say the artist of the year by vote and by merit and by work was Stoneboy. I mean, not to call up any new case. But no. Sometimes just setting the record straight. Now they're not dead. They say no corona, but if you are watching now, they are saying no corona. We be here only. Only you will be here and one or no. So I think that that was how it was. You know, appearance fee. They made it. Yeah, almost a day. Almost a day. Now, um, what about uh, Kofi Aban? Munya appearance fee. Oh, there be Doctor Kofi Aban. Thank you very much. I will use this opportunity. How it all happened was that. Yeah. Um, I've known Dr. Kofi Aban, but not even in person. The first time I met him in person that I can remember was the day when he threw the invitation to me to say, Stone, me patrol, me say me who? Mm -hmm. And I'm a birth, you may take it time mm -hmm. or a penny. But I say, when you in one minute, Krana, you have to accord respect. Yeah. You need to be a woman. Yeah. It's me, fear and drama, baby, 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 Open your friend and tell me do feel no chance. Say stop. Say say ni say ni say ni say. Now then I move more. Now then I move as I'm so you mati. On on us to tie me 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 side of the you know. What I say story ni adi adi. But so now on us as brap penny our system. We tie tie we be outside the down corner. We tie me do so the side. Only to realize say it was a surprise kind of thing. Oh. Wow. So it wasn't something it, you know, known to you. I'm a for say, and they're planning, planning, be how. Ah. You know, see, son, these are matured people. It's here now. We're just like I got to pay more. What what for? See, madam, as you saw, no suit to me. Then you meet to me. I can and I can as because to fight is two seconds. Yeah. To fight, we can always find a reason to fight, but to make peace. It's very difficult to find good reason to stand peace on because most of the peace that is going on or most of the people that we smile to and laugh to, they are worrying with us in their hearts. Mm. Wow. You understand? Hey, Stoneboy David, you talk to him, Charlie. You take your brain to a different level. Yeah, the, the eagle level, very high. Yeah. Stoneboy, <laughs> do you miss Black City? I beg you. I, I don't miss anybody. <laughs> All right. I beg you. All right. It's just a harmless And is that true? Today is freestyle, freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be freestyle, freestyle. Yeah. I miss my wife, mom. Oh, wow. Stoneboy is talking about love. He misses his wife. All right. Since you don't miss anybody, I think we'll move to the next point. That's all. That's all. All right. Now, um, what about, um, um, I, I have noticed that <laughs> you, your crop of generation, Moda, like Moda, in terms of your business yes. um, acumen, few of you individually yeah. are striving hard 
yeah. individually, yeah. not collectively, to, yeah. to make a mark. Yeah. The Ghana Music Rights Organization is yeah. your future. Mm. I hear most of you, sometimes some of you, mm. or almost all of you, trying to take a diss at Gamu rather than trying to do something viable with Gamu. Stoneboy, when are people going to wake up from your slumber? Thank you very much for this call to wake up. I think it was, we, ha, we, are, we have been smelling the coffee for a very long time. But uh, I, to speak for myself and probably just uh, for the benefit of the doubt, also stand at my point to shed light for the rest of the artists too, if I may, is the fact that um, most of us, to start from the business point of view, like you said, and I appreciate that, we, most of us are, are trying the best mm -hmm. to do well for ourselves, but we... If we are known in Ghana, we are known as musicians. We are not known as businessmen. Yeah. So for such and such reasons, we always tend to focus on the music and try to make sure that we are standing well when musicians are mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that is just one point I'm going to use on that side. But it's good. Business is good because what we do as music has a whole business structure and business approach to mm -hmm. it behind the scenes which is the rights, the publishing, the ownership of content and all these ones. So um, I have come to realize after probably um, vibing with the, the minister from the other time, yeah. I shared light on what he even started to raise the point. Then I, I mean, sorry, I, I interjected to add a point or two. The bottom line is that sitting on the side, I wish that the systems will be created, you know, and the fact that we have to get close to Gamro which is very, very important as well because that is the rights of, you know, and most of us in Ghana, at least the top, top most artists that I know of, let me just put it this way, most of us who own our, 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 our stuff, mm -hmm. that is a house for us, like you're saying. I have had to take the, the step to know. So it's like there's nobody sounding any alarm to teach people all over on the street. If you wish self motivation, to, you have to motivate yourself, get close to know. So, as I sit here and I am speaking with you, I can boldly tell you that I've been taught, I've been taken through why it's really very, very important to get close to certain day. But it all ends up with the government, with the stuff that I've gotten to understand. The laws are there, yeah, the music right laws and the laws are there, yeah. but guess what they are not being pushed well or implemented or even very effective for us musicians to make monies off this our music which would be the business part that you are asking us to pay attention to mm. so it because has the been money become like it's only the shows or you have to manage uh, and probably sell a shirt or two mm -hmm. boy, why or maybe some endorsement you... but the material that we spend time and energy to create us what they know us for as musicians. You know, we hardly get direct revenue from that from that material, and which is so very frustrating. Yes. And to say that most of us only wake up to say insulting things to Gamo and these uh, 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 the other ones, uh, music guy. Asog, Asog, Gamro, and, and your and, music videos. Yes, your Asog is for your music, music video. videos. Yes, yes, and. To be honest with you, if I hadn't even visited the offices to get thought and know where I go on, I wouldn't even know of any ASOG. Wow. So today I'm telling Ghanaians that there is an ASOG Association of uh, Audiovisual Audiovisuals Rights of Ghana. Of rights, audiovisual yeah. rights of Ghana. So our videos too, that simply means that our videos too can generate income. It for should us. generate Just income. Just like the recording material. So Thank now, you. the bottom line is please, so we are begging in the name of God, so that we don't all go down the drain in the future aside diversifying whatever advice that we are getting for what we do today which we are active on running through giddy giddy to do no we need to get our monies our worth we need to get the value of it to be able to diversify to be able to invest and do certain other things so that in the end the year year when the umbe tumaka said where the everything was right no no one no blows the canon and or the quiet or the bay here won't until your family just a system no I'll beg with the government in all humility. Say the system has to be created. Yes, I'm going to say because the system is a machine. Be I say yet on air the share with you and I hear the recording. Oh, until sometimes we need more. Obey him from so be brave. Until yeah, so so yeah, him from so be brave. Now, lesson no, you are not too old to learn. Yeah. Aha. Until be I also we need more inside, but we be in beer when here. We need echo. So right now no, you say 
we plead that the laws should work you know and the government to go support the system and that legal entity which is a uh, gamro to be able to what generate income. collect our income for us and my fellow musicians too and right owners and all, make sure you go register so say now me where are they and are they talk change you they talk reach some different level so right now we just they hope say our honorable minister go meet with us all and then they go tell us say and promise us say we're going to put this one here this one there and then we're going to make sure the system is set because it takes money to hire these foreign companies to come and do the work. No be any company where one come users for try and error. No. Company where collect people their royalty for them over the years. Thank you. So they go come set such systems and know say this one if you play no it is at this point where we can set the value and say pay per play or per minute or whatever. So that the thing recycles back round. I go I quite say me yeah leches, but any leches. I said the thing goes back round. DJ crab any BAD because Adrian and Abba. What I say? Do you do it? You get man cry because boss so we are okay. Yeah. What I say? So stop by. Would you want to be um, a, a Gamro board member one day? Because you have a lot of ideas, and I believe that I mean some of you being there would make um, Gamro look more attractive to. You can bring yeah, everybody. Yeah, I don't say say they say we will sell more. Because in you, you will be to me are a president of Gamble because or chairman because you are Arthur, a songwriter and yes. a composer. And I'm a member. I'm a registered member, member of Gamble yes. as well. And I'm a president of Bim Nation. Oh. If you also are president in India and a minister, mommy cry. We be doing easy. Oh. A minister yeah, cry. Yeah. Assemblyman right. cry. Yeah, because because I know. Because I'm crying. Many more don't that there's a omu ni me jumana on me that is if it does happen but i mean we are all have to get close because uh, i also learned also that they can furnish you as a registered member with all the information that you need even to account yes so that we know that charlie the thing they go so so enough of the insults let's take a step and check what i go on thank you oh. stone boy before we get to this i want to ask this question that i feel that is necessary sure. you know say government legalized marijuana cultivation 100 acres they say if you get commercial quantities, custom boy, would you go into that business? I beg, ask again. <laughs> because every question for exam hall, you for read them twice. Twice, thank you. Custom boy, recently, <laughs> government legalized the yeah. cultivation of marijuana. Yeah. Commercial quantities, large yeah. export, hundred acres. Mm -hmm. If you get hundred acres, they will give you license. Wow. Make you cultivate marijuana. Yes. High grade skunk. Yeah. Call all the names. Amnesia. All. Oh, thank you. Yes. Would you want to go into such a business? And government will legalize them. Illegalize them. True, true, true. No, true. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the one I'm saying is okay, for real. Okay, then that'll be all. Once the government will be in the regulate everything, where you know the purpose of some things, why some things for fee happen, and you know, say, it is the government just go legalize the commercial uh, 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 export of marijuana for just any reason mm -hmm. no the government knows the benefits of, of it that way they encourage its citizens who can afford to to do so if i consider it as a viable business which it is because if the government sign under why not uh go manage them for you you don't get a problem mm. uh -huh, then we are all involved, uh, we are involved. yeah we, we involved. do many things with it you know huh? do you feel fulfilled <laughs> in life because if you die today you are a hero um Honestly speaking, I'm grateful for how far I've come. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I can only go further. So that's that's how that's I see it. my life. Yeah, yeah, man. So do you think uh, the, the the state is being heroic by having ideas to reopen schools amidst this COVID nineteen pandemic? Do, do you think it's a, it's a smart idea? I want your thought. You're a Ghanaian, yeah, of course, and. Um, Thank you, and, and, and based on just that is why I will, I will even dare to speak on matters like this because uh, we have controllers who who know better, I should say. You know, everything we say will just be the way we see things, but not from where or how it's supposed to actually come from. So to open schools at this time, I think the individual authorities who have had to do the survey and check stuff to know that it's okay to go, are the ones that can definitely decide trust me i as a Ghanaian, everybody wants to go back to the new normal or the normal life anyways so if the authorities see it you know fit that such and such be done 
I know that they would also have um, a re- they would also have reasons that they can explain to us or they can come share to us so that we believe that yes, it's also right to go because we are the ones that are going to expose ourselves, you know, to this coronavirus, which is why we've all been, you know, pulled back. Schools aren't have, have been asked to close, and the rest. All right, yeah. all right, Stone Boy. Um, we don't have much time, but yeah, um, time I, I running, think yeah. that um, your video, Kerry Hilson, yeah. Stone Boy, it looks so plush. Stone Boy, how much did you spend on that video? It's two acres in East Lego. Two acres in East Lego. Where, where <laughs> you take? Where you take? Do video. <laughs> two. A- I think that's what I said the first time I started answering how expensive the video is. So I'll keep to that. You you, you you don't want to mention the figure. I'll keep to that. I'll keep to that. Hundred thousand dollars. Hey, please, I'll keep to that. It's two acres in East Lego. <laughs> wow. So if you know, you know. If Simple. you know, you know. Simple. Now, somewhere, what was the concept behind the video? Yeah, the concept is uh, actually um, we had two concepts, but uh, at the time when we shot it, places were being sh- closed and shut down yeah. already. So I missed the coronavirus. The video was shot in February, you know. So we moved to the first idea, you know, which was actually. To showcase or to you know um it was like a pageant you know that happened and the miss africa won to 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 an extent it tells you how i want to continue to sell africa and have the name of africa you know sounding every time around these things yeah. you know although you didn't see me wearing all these african agbada and things but we're still representing for because you presented an award to yeah, miss yeah. africa exactly and that's, the europeans the were like oh that's the yeah that's, yeah that's, that's now like charlie this billboard issue lots of Ghanaians are ignorant or i won't say ignorant we we don't know about these billboard issues and what it means now stoneboy you've been mm. there twice this yeah. current song is there yeah what can you run us through this billboard stuff so people can get to appreciate some of these things when yeah. you hear them yeah um i mean you know just like we have the hit fm charts we have some charts that are well known and renowned billboard charts is also very very well known and renowned we have the world charts the billboard reggae charts and all that where i've been able to cop myself two plaques from the number one and number two reggae albums yes number one Cicilla and number two yeah and then uh, Kali Bots. and then this my so my this nominate song actually is 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 is, is, is in the lineup and it, the last time we checked which made the news it picked at 19 which was um billboard world charts so, world charts yes, that was that is the levels that we're on so you can understand that ghana is being propelled into all these heights by its artists and if you know be musicians and creatives we go do this how else you know how else i know that other people in their different jurisdictions are also pushing ghana a lot from the business fans and all business sides but you know there from the entertainment side i think that i'm doing the most that i can trust me to represent myself and ghana wow now stoneboy i want to ask this question that i know many people would not expect me to ask you can you give me a formula Mm-hmm. your formula yeah. for measuring the greatest artist internationally a local artist if you want to measure a local artist pedigree outside can you walk me through a method that we can use mm-hmm. to, to, measure. To, to measure strength because it looks like people measure strength based on what they feel not through any viable statistics which is as in strength of an artist or outside, the levels out, of an artist outside. You can merge the two. Okay. Yes. So I think I, I would take it from outside because they have the standards. They, yeah. They, they got, I mean, our standards, the standard we know worldwide, the standards that have to come from the West. Yeah. If I'm, if I, if I'm not mistaken, like you see the Grammys, mm-hmm. the, because in Ghana, maybe we have the VGMAs, we have certain things, but you can't compare VGMA to, though it's our own, but if somebody says Grammy or Billboard, it is worldwide standard of 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 of, of measuring a caliber of, of 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 an artist. So I think my own way is the profile and the works that they've done. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not always about popularity or how popular the yeah. artist is. Most people have done so many things behind the scenes. That's why it's called behind the scenes that make them superpowers in various industries. Or in various um, spheres, most people have done things. So for me to measure a musician or an artist, you know, that they are champion, champion, I look at the 
the profile first and foremost and what they've done mm. yes in, irrespective of time because some people may have done some groundbreaking stuff 30 years ago and such hasn't been done yet yes but yes. it wouldn't be loud as it was when it happened yeah so that's why research is also very important for you to know who you're dealing with very important yeah. very very important so profile. profiling stone boy um I, I i don't know but um when it comes to ghana and our international clout mm -hmm. your name comes up as one of the best yes please and um some have argued in favor of you some have argued against you now giving you yeah. yourself the opportunity to rank yourself mm -hmm. first three what would you put yourself in chilling company home stone boss i'm giving you an opportunity i have the opportunity already please <laughs> one two three where do you stand zero that means you are the best sharp ow quick Stone boy, say it again. Zero. Now that before you go, go, go to, to one. one. Before you go to two, before you go to three. <laughs> wow. So Stone boy has made it official, but I believe that it's based on merit. It's based on the work that you think you've done. Exactly. Now convince me why, why else I should believe that you are at number zero. Just briefly, briefly. And that is where we go into detail to make it look like you're blowing your horns. But this is a freestyle Friday Thank show. Thank you, so listeners. Very much. Kindly take it as such. Yeah. Because first and foremost, you have to be confident. And anybody who sits here and being asked this same question, even if it is an underground and you're asked how you see yourself, please tell them you see yourself as the best. Okay? Uh -huh. So it's just a, a little... A, um, so if you want to ask me why or proof to you why i think that my profile speaks like i said you know because i would have judged somebody by their profile as well so let's get the profiles going even recently thank you i, 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 I on, like uh, what you're about to do I statistics on, yeah i don't yeah. I mean this just came to mind you know like right now on boom play you check the levels you check the numbers you check the so these various platforms and this is one of the platforms 12 million 12 or 5 million streams on audio mark only within let's say within a month from Angloga Junction album. Wow. That hasn't happened for any Ghanaian artist yet. Um, that is profile. Um please within, um, even within that time frame or all time. Within that time frame uh, when so the album was released. Anchor repete twelve point any... five million uh -huh. and counting uh -huh. on audio mark only. So that is me trying to convince you to know the vibe so you can go and check it out. Yeah. We have Billboard standing in the room. We have BETs working over there. We have Nickelodeons working over there. We have the most international collaborations when it comes to reggae and dance out perspective sitting over there. From the names of the Sean Pauls, the Beanie Mans, and its way is on and on and on and on. And like I was saying, Boom Play is all, uh, is all 31 million in total. All play. 63,000 followers on there. It comes. And you see the other artists are... The other artists. Yes. The boy. other superstars. Stars. I yes. Mean, the other I, superstars. I call it back. I mean, the yeah, other I superstars yeah. ranking. So, we can only work with profile sometimes. Mm. That is you the know? only way. W w which, which, which... And when it comes to profile, I mean, not to say so, we have the Ashaiman to the World concert, which has been running for years. We have the BIM concert, which has been running for years as well. And... You, you can um yo killer so these things i hardly remember you know these yeah. things i can hardly remember but as far as i'm concerned when you check the profile and you check the settings my own achievement qualify me to be the zero thank you for myself because thank you i have to keep going so you have a research team that um pitches you i mean backdoor against the other superstars so that you can know your strength yeah even if you open your instagram right now you see a point called insight insight statistics yeah. these are the back door to the job you please learn oh about. please learn somebody teach them let them know they don't know <laughs> me myself you talk before me and they know like you know talk so like i don't know there's definitely a back door to everything that goes on so that you can check the levels you know where you're being played the most where you have to feed your audience i mean this is an internal things i May not have to be here yes, sharing. Yeah, that be your trade you know? secrets. Yeah. yeah. I am Nanaya from Kwabenya. Please, I want to ask Stoneboy whether he has had a broken heart before. Because some of his songs mostly talk about broken heart. Yeah, yeah, before. 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 Yeah. And where the lady did? 
Is it around? No, 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 no. Is it outside? It is, it is. How does she feel when she sees the the guy she broke her heart being <laughs> celebrated worldwide? <laughs> I don't want to be her. Actually, Has she tried to get in touch with you before? Yeah, but the thing that me and me and everybody be cool still, you know, because at the time we already grow. You understand? We already grow, so uh, it, it, it goes shaping you small. Oh, you know, okay. But you know, go kill you. Yeah. yeah. So you are just encouraging everybody with a broken heart to oh, move yes, on. Oh yes, absolutely. It depends. So it depends. You know, at at my time, I think I was young, so it was a learning curve. But some broken heart for some st- stages and some levels. It's a suicide out. It will fear affect many, many, yeah. many things. All right, Chalo. So, Chale, um, some point, in fact, uh, we have around our time. Oh, really. 6.25? Yes. Like, Beautiful that's a, conversations. That's an hour and 25. Yes, yes. Woo! And, Chale, um, thank yeah. you very much for oh, having me. All right. No, I no, know no. I overstep my time. No, it's, it's yeah. a, this is the Freestyle Friday. And Michael uh, Quay, my Gizo, the whole thank team. Thanks to Michael Quay, my Gizo, <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and Doreen. Mr. Mark Doreen for tuning in, the MD, the bosses for. Yeah. You know, I know how it is. Sometimes when one minute safe chop, it a fee hard. Oh no, but so, yeah, you know, big yeah. Upside. Make sure you guys get the album still. And like the guy said, we're gonna be promoting some of them all. Like in fact, I think the next video comes out in a few, few like next week or something. You know, clear. I can hear it. Hey, okay. back <laughs> <laughs> So as I said, freestyle Fridays. I sign out to the freestyle. Hear me, I say. Yeah. Hey, hey, I want God. Oh. Representing in a eight FM, tell them say Stone God oh. Representing in a eight FM, I ride them yeah. Me crew quit on check out the arena view. You feel no say we step in a deep place on the slow. Be a fire where we bust up straight up in the studio. Everything blessed and you know. Tell them man put on an NYC. Better no say afar far as I see. Them no say them no fi sink me in a the sea. Why go them? I tell them. Don't wear on the yellow and the green. Tell them say everything nice ever green. Waiting your day, waiting we never seen. Why come down the scene? How I do them? I see joy from entertainment. And you know say this I wanna I no relegate man. Tell them say everything straight and everywhere we come and step. Tell them say your man a king one god in the place I've been no say. We don't come as a play. Freestyle section, yeah. Friday it is, you don't know we go for the self now. Well, freestyle Friday. You feel not say, you feel not say, everything nice is a freestyle Friday. My quick is so I just want with them. It's a freestyle Friday. Everybody feel it now. Tell them, say, I just say with them. All right, I know. All right, I know. Yeah. Watch this. I want to do this one right now before I run out of the studio. It's one of the favorite songs on my album. I see. I see. Work where we know. He be the work. He be the work. Don't play me. My name is sick. I ain't me trouble. Only say me. I'm daddy. My team is pure. So I have fun. Fun. No one. I do my fun. I'm poco. Say me. I'm a No one. I'm a Jimmy. Oh no. Yeah. I be a son. Me be so me bobo. Cause I'm in so over Jimmy. Money for the coco. My capture. Me show the one side. I love love. I do my messy. Brandy. Me try me show to. Life is a journey. Yeah. Eh. Journey, yeah. Uh, what what is some boy? Watch this. Right. Before we run out, I block class now, studio. Before you, you take leave of us, too, boy, we have to do the Rango. That is my personal favorite. That is my personal favorite, I mean, of all time. Thank you. Yes, and uh, for me, Rango f- ranges among the best songs in reggae that would match the legends of um, past times. The, the bobs, the Peter Toshes mm. and stuff, the cultures, I mean, yeah. the depth of thought, I mean, in lyrics, Charlie, it's something that we cannot run away from. Absolutely. So, in fact, I would wish you do this live for me Why for, for us not? to actually close the curtains down on the show. And uh, <clears throat> please, I, I, the messages are crazy. Mm. In fact, I mean, the messages, I too mean, much. no, no, too much. But the information Stoneboy has is very important that um, we have to sacrifice some of your message time to listen to Big the up. one God. You don't always Big get up. one God, I mean, spewing out secrets Big to up. make you a great person. So um, I'm very sorry that we couldn't take your messages. Thank you very much. But before I go, Stoneboy Rango, would yeah. be doing Rango. You go drop some instrument I do on top of me. I just do the a cappella. Yeah, that same bit where they yeah. drop. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. all right. All right, yeah, okay, all right, right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. All right, let's go. 
Say, tell me where we gonna run go after making our motherland. Ah, 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 ah. All right, put it on that one here, you know, Stone Boy. Come here, Massa, you write that song here, you know. Hey, DJ, make it queer, I'm to them. Mm-hmm. So tell me where we gonna run go after making our motherland a beat a place to leave. Tell me where we gonna run go when them say we have to pay for the oxygen. Hey, 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 and tell me now, Mr. Big Money, you know, say everybody want to go run go offering. A simple life, simple life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you hear me, please? This the one that sang me a sing from the deep. Don't in a me at me, I feel like to weep. Well, if I think I go on where the people can't keep, can't speak, but they burn it and make them a stop it. You are the one to make like this the same, you are make it harder. Ah, nah. After everybody match up and there is no way, what are they? Well, tell me where we gonna run go. After making our motherland a beat a place to leave Tell me where we gonna run go When them say we have to pay for the oxygen we breathe Tell me where we gonna run go When them say we have to pay for the oxygen Dance salvation you know Dance salvation you know Watch this again before we run out, well them, say no fat them sell out, sell out, bond them sell out, free selfishness, we see them sell out. Greedy life, speedy life, them tell a lie, the two they will always start to hide. Well then, call us with a speed and don't call it other god. Leave him bigger the expense of a brother. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stone Boy really bouncing on the tell track. Tell me where we gonna run go now, now, run go now, 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 now. Hey, tell me where we gonna run go after making our motherland a beat a place to leave. Tell me where we gonna run. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, thank you very much, Stone Boy, for yeah, for being in the studio and being in the studio on time. Yeah, that was good. That is your hallmark. Ahead of time. Ahead you are of always time. ahead of time. Four forty eight. And please teach them how to do it. People take certain things for granted. Can only lead by example, anyway. Yes. All right. So, Stoneboy, in recent times, have never been late to any interview that mm. I know of. Mm. Yeah, maybe ten years ago he did that. I don't know, but now I well. All right. Go. So, thank you. <laughs>